I'm Phil Tarsi with Stalls TV. When creating heat transfers for a laser cutter, setting up your artwork correctly is critical in completing the job. In this video, we're going to discuss raster and vector art and how to process them in CorelDRAW. Let's start with the raster image and how to process that for laser cutting. What we need to do is convert this image to a RGB black and white so that way the universal laser system software will recognize where it is to etch and where it is not to etch away the material. So in order to do that with the image selected we're going to go to bitmaps, mode, and then we're going to select black and white. So now it shows us this dialog screen. The conversion method we want to change from halftone to line art. And then if you wanted some more greater detail you can slide this threshold slider up or down, but we're just going to click OK. And now it has converted this to a black and white raster image. Now, as you notice down in the left hand, or I'm sorry, the right hand corner, it's CMYK, but this has to be RGB in order for the software to recognize it. So finding my RGB 100% black. I'm going to do a right click on that swatch and it has now converted that to the correct RGB black value. And then I can also click on the white, do a left click on the white or a no fill and that will remove any white portion of the image. Alright, so now we've converted the OW image to 100% RGB black. All we need to do now is invert the colors. So we're going to go to effects, transform, and invert colors. So now you can see that it is inverted. The owl is now white and the surrounding area is black. So now we just have to draw a rectangle around the image for a cut line. And then do a right click on our RGB red and make sure that it is converted to hairline so that way the universal control panel software will recognize that that is the cut path. So this OWL file is ready for processing. So let's take a look at the truck over here. This is our vector art. Again, if I viewed in wireframe, you can see that it is made up of multiple lines, there is no outside boundary box. So this is definitely a wireframe or a vector object. So in order to convert this for processing, it's a little bit simpler than the raster art. All we have to do is create an RGB black box around the outside. We're going to move this to the back of the page. And there is our image. It's ready for processing other than, once again, our cut box. And do a right click on your RGB red and make sure that it is converted to hairline. So both of these images are ready for processing to be sent to the laser. Select them, group them together. Click on the print icon. Select our laser. And now we can hit print. When I open up the laser software, the control panel, here they are. And just a few settings before we're ready to actually process this file. Go into settings. We're going to select our fashion film material. Make sure that our print direction is going from the bottom of the laser to the top. And click OK. Alright, so now we're going to place our fashion film into the laser with the carrier side down. 
just like you would if you were using a vinyl cutter. We have it in position, now we're ready to process this job. After the fashion film design is laser processed, the rest is simple. Load your garment of choice onto a heat press and apply for the recommended time, temperature, and pressure. The finished result is a soft, highly durable heat transfer. With the laser's ability to etch away the unwanted portion of the heat transfer material, you're able to achieve fine detail with no weeding, unlike that of a traditional vinyl cutter. I'm Phil Tarsi with Stalls TV. Thanks for watching.